Oh, come on, money. Money. Okay, so I have a haul and then we're gonna pack because I'm taking a day trip to Prom Springs. Well, a day, like an overnight trip because baby, if I, if I don't get out of LA, I will perish. First place I went to for some Halloween things. And you know what I realized also? Like I'm not, I love Halloween, but I don't love it in my house <laughs> i love horror and spooky shit but i don't love like like what am i trying to say like i don't like like pumpkins and halloween like i just don't like the campy i realize i'm not camp like the you i'm not conventionally halloween camp oh child i had to make that so complicated okay so first place i went to y'all so why I um, why I did get my nails done? Don't look at this because I got matte and um, glossy, but the matte is not it's not given like the glossy. But before this, right, I had scheduled a nail appointment with my nail girl Carmen. Why I scheduled it for like August tenth instead of like July, whatever the fuck. So I, I pull up and I like knock on the door and she's like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> And I'm like, I have a nail appointment. She's like, no, you don't. I was like, and then she told me like when I scheduled it for, mind you, I scheduled it at like fucking three o'clock in the morning. She's like, girl, I was like, I was like, Carmen, why would I do that? <laughs> she gave me this look like Marley. I don't have time for this. So that led me go on to a little tiny itty bitty shopping spree um, because this is the time of the year where I get a lot of my home decor. I'm gonna be redecorating the office. I was like, uh, it's time to buy stuff. So I went to Bath and Body Works right here and I got the Ghoul Friend candle. Y'all, this smells 
amazing i feel like this would be perfect it's very like flowery but just look at the aesthetic like they're they're doing it they're doing it um i think this would be perfect for like the kitchen the bathroom somewhere where you want it to smell very fresh and then i got the vampire blood hand sanitizer i'm not sure what this scent is supposed to be like i really don't it doesn't smell like anything not a strawberry not a cherry maybe a little cherry oh! i just smelled straight alcohol um so yeah we love that love the vibes and i got the vampire blood candle just because i mean hello aesthetics oh i love vampires you guys i am such a whore for that vamp shit okay and then i believe that's all i got yeah that's all i got oh oh my god and then i got this body lotion y'all enchain enchanted candy potion this shit smells so fucking good so fucking good it's like it's literally giving like horror bimbo but like classic and love this and then after that i went to is it hobby lobby hobby lobby where i got um they had this sale oh my god everything was like 50 and 40 percent off so i got this candle holder because it just has a vibe and then this candle oh my candle's going out um cinnamon apple so cute and it smells amazing so this actually is right here in my like living room area and i'll show i'll do like a pan around of how you know my little setup is but i just love this vibe it's super homey it reminds me of home mm, it smells amazing and then i got this i'm not sure where i want to put this but i mean it's stunning <laughs> and then i got these three candles so i can put the red on the outside um and these just make good you know just props like i can't wait to um get so much better with my content just be more artistic you know you know but yeah look at this this definitely i mean when i have my little setup i'll know for sure but I love this so yeah this is at Hobby Lobby I love these and these are my favorite type of candles too when it, the like the wax drips down um and this was $29.99 and I think I got this for either 40 or 50% off so we love that um and then I also got this cute crown I think I'm either gonna spray paint it black or gold and then put some glitter on it so this is a cute little decor i'm telling y'all i'm about to transform my space it's gonna be it's gonna be sickening just saying so i got this vape it's by the food god but it has no nicotine so don't judge me then i went to home goods mind your business so first thing is the skull this would be oh this is such cute home decor i if you haven't noticed i'm obsessed with skulls it really just has everything to do with anatomy um because i studied it in cosmetology school weirdly and i like oddly fell in love with it um i just feel like skulls are so like this is literally our heads like take away like everyone has this you have this and i think this is just nature at its finest and it's beautiful um i think the snake is a nice touch i don't know where i'm gonna put it but we love her actually i could set it over here for now i am the skull collector i love skulls speaking of skulls look at this blanket i'm actually sh so shocked that i found it because I'm not gonna lie sometimes home goods they be it be really i don't know it'd be it'd be kind of lame in there when it comes to like blankets and stuff or you just really gotta look and i wanted just a cozy oh my god this is so cute see this is halloween without being like you know cheesy 
oh my god I love this I love this I feel like this is the perfect size that you can just oh baby it's giving cozy and I got this tumbler just because it was so I mean this is so pretty and I always um, I use the same fucking tumblers for everything I just wanted a cute like mom car tumbler I do wish it was black but it is okay just on the go for like iced coffees and this one was $13 it says it's perfect for water iced tea smoothies fresh juices and spirits okay so if I have a smoothie I can also put one in here too but I I want this for hot coffee really but I mean you could put anything in here but look at how cute oh, oh my god you guys and then I got this book it says it's made in Italy but I just love like uh just love like how it is it's such a like cute little journal poetry um the main reason why I want to go on this trip is just to like jot down my thoughts and my feelings to get away i'm not bringing my computer i'm not doing any like real work like i think i if anything i might you know try and get inspired by like being on pinterest or like reading and writing poetry but i do not plan on doing any fucking work whatsoever i just want to write and to be left alone <laughs> Honestly, I want to get a massage. But look at how cute and I feel like it could just fit in your bag, but it's so like, I don't know, like olden day vampire, 19th century. That's not olden day. Okay, I think, oh, my midsummer stuff. Okay, hold on. So I was once again, <laughs> Vanessa's plus one for midsummer. This year I did not have a booth. I felt so bad because everyone was asking me where my booth was. And I thought that if I dressed, like I literally had on fishnets and shorts and like a tank top, like I was looking very off duty. <laughs> and I thought if I dressed like that, nobody would ask me, but what can you do? But um, Midsummer was so fun and I'm so happy that I decided to take this year off for convention so I can come back just bigger and better like I'm in a place right now where like I I know that I can no longer push myself like how I was before but don't get it twisted I'm still running shit okay <laughs> that made no sense so this shirt was courtesy of the local boogeyman but look at how cool it says support your local queen and look at this hot bitch right here so that's one shirt we have a lot of shirts and then we stopped by eye candy who blessed us with these cute little crop tops this is the crow one of my favorite movies she's she's so cute oh my god i love all her little like campy horror, horror stuff chilling and killing like how look at how cute so these would be cute on just off duty wearing shorts you know still with the spooky vibes this one says serial killer documentaries and chill which is like i mean come on if that ain't me i don't know who is and then this one's really cute too let's play games this is very horror bimbo love oh uh, the tiffany valentine one would would have been cute actually any one of these would have been cute i don't know why she gave me this one it's still cute though actually i'll add this one in the giveaway not saying that i don't want it but i just rather it go to somebody who's gonna use it because i already have air fresheners shut up anytime i see a girl anything i like have to buy it so this is going on my laptop I don't know if there's any more room on it but i just i love girl i have a girl tattoo this is if nostalgia had a face it would be this little cutie pie right here and then who's this by then we stopped at grim life 
courtesy of Grim Life. You okay, Mama? You okay? You drink too fast. You okay, Mama? She was choking on something. Um, so Jessica and her partner, they go on like spooky horror excursions. They travel to haunted houses, haunted places. Uh, they go to conventions and they have a YouTube. I will link it below, but they're just so cool. Um, and just super friendly, very supportive. We love that. We got a lot of like off duty stuff. I also got this sweatshirt, Twilight Zone, courtesy of Cemetery. Super cute, it's so comfortable. And I got another, I promise I'll be making my own one of these, but I just love to collect these. These are such perfect off duty, like, you know, things to wear. And it says honk if you're haunted, which I, which I just think is so cool. So love that. And then I got these pants from Seven Deadly, but just look at how good they fit. I love how you can like wear it like this or you can put it down. I did it very lazily and on the side it just says poison and then it's like wide leg too at the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see, but these are so freaking comfortable. Oh my God. So I got two prints that I'm gonna hang up in the studio. This one I love of Amy Winehouse. I do wish she was holding a black hat. I feel like that would have made more sense, um, but it's fine. This is by Dirty Lola. This was really hard to choose from because they had so many cool ones, but I had to get my queen. And then this one I have of Carrie. Look at how iconic this is. Like, look at how iconic. Look at this pose. Like, so I'm gonna find some really cool picture frames and I'm so stoked for this because I don't ever buy art. There's no art on my walls at all. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just so ready for like chill wear, lounge, uh, lounge wear. Um, we had a production meeting for robes coming. Um, a lot more clothes are coming. My signature line is dropping. So yeah, I'm very, I'm, whoo, y'all, I'm excited. But I'm just, you know, I'm nervous. I'm, you know, and I think that's why I'm like, I'm forcing myself to go on this day trip because I'll really be able to come back with a clear head because, um, you know, there's just so many things that I want to do and I want to know what's the, stop it. I want to know what's the next step for me. Um, of course, fashion is coming. I really want to do clothes, but I'm thinking just, you know, should I take some graphic design classes? Should I like take some fashion courses? Because I would not be able to be here if it wasn't for cosmetology school. I don't think, did I need it? Not necessarily, but like, I always reference things from back to that time, like anatomy. Like I studied that in cosmetology school and it made me fall in love with it. So I'm just thinking about what would I fall in love with? Like, what's gonna inspire me? And not just, you know, watching YouTube. Like, I wanna be in a classroom. I wanna be, I wanna be in that setting, you know? And plus, it's just something to do. I'm tired of, like, the normal running around. Okay, so let me, <laughs> let me clean up real quick, and then we'll pack, and yeah. Look at how pretty this looks. Like, I can't wait. Like, this apartment is not giving the vibe. Like, as you can see, it we're getting into our Victorian era. It's time for Victorian vampire renaissance. I just made that up. Oh, and here's another thing that I got, too. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, I wanted to keep it very golden. So, yeah. And this is, like, my grab-and-go corner. But look at this skull. I actually got this one from Michael, so we definitely need to do a Michael's trip because, yeah. Okay, wait, let's pack. I'm taking my Alexander McQueen um, backpack. I've worn this maybe like three times in my whole life, but I just feel like it fits the desert vibe. It's like very, like, you know, gothic rock. Um, and, you know, Alexander McQueen, that is, you know, my fashion father. Ooh, wait, 
Let me see. Y'all might not be able to see me, but it's okay. All right, and I actually got these two pieces when I did my dark renaissance. Um, so yeah, so this is just going to be our day vacation luggage. You know, I can like, you know, it, it works. <laughs> Always need a good pair of sweats on the trip. They're perfect for just lounging around or in case it gets cold or if you want to take like a quick trip somewhere. So I always bring a pair of Mary Watt sweatpants. These are her new ones that they have. Like, look at that. Y'all like, look at this. Like, oh, she has outdone herself. I do believe I have a code. I will link it below. If I can't find it, don't hate me. Still support fucking Mary Watt London. They're such a sick ass brand. And yeah, we love them. We stand the UK. Then I have this dress, this black dress that's coming to Glam Goth Beauty. Figured I'd wear this to get my massage just so I can take it on and off. And then I have this just long sleeve black dress. You guys see me wear this dress all the time. This is from Shin. Don't worry, I'm gonna do bit. Um, or at least find it. And I figure I can wear this if I'm going anywhere at night, which I don't think I will. Um, I don't even think my the hotel that I'm staying at has like a bar or anything, but if I do decide to like go out, grab some food, this will be my um, civilian dress, if you will. And then I'm packing this cute little top because I want this to be my like traveling top when I'm in my Jeep. So I'm gonna probably gonna have this on with this and then honestly these seven deadly pants because they're so comfortable. Another comforting thing that I like to travel with and I can wear this like, I mean, I'm only going for one night but if I was going for multiple nights, this would be like my nightgown. You literally feel like you're sleeping in nothing which I probably will be but you know, just in case. Just bringing my Betty Page robe that I literally live in that y'all have seen me in all the time. And then I got this cute, oh my God, you guys, this bikini is so cute from Target, y'all. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna find a bikini, like my vibe, but. And then this is my like toiletry bag. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, child. Okay, what's our routine? First makeup remover, so we have these, right? Yeah. And then I have the Fenty like traveling. So we have the cleanser. She calls it fat water. Oh, that's the toner. Moisturizer cleanser. Yes. Okay. So all three of these are going in. Then of course, contacts, contact solution. Then I have this um, mask I got from Target. Um, and then I have perfume. This is the Versace Dylon blue which I got from like Miami years ago yeah that's why I told y'all like get the fucking travel sizes because these last forever but it's almost gone so I want to like use it up um in um Palm Springs how the hell oh. oh that's cool and I got Olay body wash Y'all, the shower I'm gonna, the shower that I'm gonna take, oh my God. Oh my God, I, I'm so ready for this. <laughs> I'm so ready for this. Woo. Um, and then I got some baby oil because moisture, I'm going to the desert, I don't have time. <laughs> oh my God, this bag is so full. And then I got some Evian facial spray. I figure I'll just spray it. Mm, this is this is everything, especially when you don't have makeup on. I love this in the summer as like a cool down. So I'm gonna be in the jacuzzi just spraying my face with this. This is a Alexander McQueen like little clutch, but I use it as my like travel toiletries case because it's just so cute i mean look at it like look and it has all the studs and it matches the studs vibe so this is going in the swimsuit bag i'm bringing my poetry book I feel a new chapter coming i feel you know it's a new era and i wanna i wanna start it in this book 
So this is packed and ready to go. I think the only thing that's left out of here is my keys, but I plan to just like wear it like this, you know, hands free on the go. Already text me Neka about the cat. She's going to be popping in to feed them. <sighs> okay. I feel, I feel so good. I'm just happy that I literally just impulsively did this i didn't like i was just like girl just do it just do it like just do it like you deserve it fuck it like i hope that this is like the start of me taking more trips but now i'm setting myself up to like where i can do that you know because raf and lily are my they're my children and like i hate to like leave them but if i don't literally leave la like now like i would go tonight if i could okay bye i'll see y'all in palm springs bitch okay guys so i just got here do y'all hear the music playing oh my god y'all this room is i mean it's giving desert relaxation so that's where the music's coming out of love that love this view i can't wait to see this at night because it's just a view of the desert i cannot wait to take oh the bath Here's the bed. This is so cute. This would be a cute little getaway, you know, for you and your lover. Of course my camera is dying, but I have a massage. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then, yeah. But I'll be a lot of vlogging on my phone, don't judge me. I don't even know why I brought this camera. Oh my God, my boobs. Okay, I'll be back. So I'm back for my massage, which was everything. Y'all, y'all be careful. The white men, they're evolving. I was like, you cannot be touching on me like that. Okay, so this is finally empty. I'd be on the water, I'm just gonna spray. I just wanna stay hydrated. Okay. But no, that massage, I almost was like, what are you doing when you get off? No, I'm kidding. So this is the robe that they give us, which I, I mean, I feel like it's a little small, but. It's also not very luxurious, but it's fine. It ain't my spa. So I'm about to go sit in some water until I prune. And then I think I'm gonna get a pizza from the cafe. And then I'm gonna soak some more. So yeah, let's get back into the vibes. So I am on my way to do a mockumentary, that's what it's called, um, with this director named, it's something Tucci, I forgot, but this is my glam. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm running late, but I did The Hopeless Romantic and then Lucky You, which is now called Harley Quinn, but um, I just curled my hair real quick. I'm so frantic. I just curled my hair real quick um, because I wanted to do like a um soft goth romantic look and i feel like this is you know my thing um i'm not oh Lily, please don't start this y'all this hair when i got back from palm springs was disastrous okay so I figure in the interview I can have it like this or maybe like this. Okay. Um, and this is my outfit. This top is Fashion Nova, but don't worry, I'm gonna do it. Um, these pants are coming to my store and I'm wearing the Luxuria platform. 
And I'm taking my, ooh, let's add that in there. This is the new Harley Quinn. Um, I'm taking my, this bag, my Philip bag. Okay guys, I'm gonna blast my hair with one final hairspray and then we're out. Oh, perfect. What adjustment, what other adjustments do you need? And this one on the floor. Yes, and if you could point the antenna at the camera. Awesome, thank you. And then you said you want my hair on this side. Yes, please. Nice. Uh, one of the benefits of having you come in is like, I want to hear a lot of like your authentic, um, you know, your authentic story. Okay. You know, the ups, the downs, the laughs, all of that. All of that, okay, yes. got it. All right, cool. That looks good. That looks really good, yeah. Okay. That's fine. Black is black and... Mm-hmm. That's fine. All right. But the background. Um. <laughs> yeah. Black yeah. is black. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hair light, you'll, you'll glow. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You got a nice, like, Halloween-y kind of feel. <laughs> okay. Here. Scene three, shot one, take one, Mark. When you say you think about witches, do you think that particularly women in goth subculture can relate to witches who were burned at the stake? I do, but also I feel that that type of witchcraft is still, is based on a subculture. Because if you really think about it, witches goes back to like Africa. Women around the world were getting sacrificed and tormented. It wasn't just in Salem, you know, they weren't predominantly white. But again, I feel like I get, I get the connection because still women today, when we dress all dark and mysterious, people are like, what? She must be bad. She must be evil. She's going against the society's femininity. So I think that everywhere around the world, when it comes to witches, we can all connect with that, with the golf culture, for sure. So it's, it's like that sense of rebellion. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's and it goes into the sense of rebellion goes against the patriarchy because women were supposed to be light and you know soft and I feel like goth is it's very dark it's it's almost it's deathly it's you know and we have this fascination about it and as women we're not supposed to so anything that goes against the patriarchy is like you're a witch you must die we're gonna burn you Oh, you've got followers. No, you're a cult leader. Like all the all the bullshit. I was not expecting this, but you talk about like witches in in Africa. Yeah. I don't know anything about that subject. Could you tell what you know about that? Well, what I do know is that witchcraft originated in Benin and Togo. That's where the origination origination of voodoo. So, I feel like somewhere along, you know, the timeline, it got to America. And when people, now when people hear witches, the first thing they think of is Salem and like the Salem witch trials, but they don't think about people in Africa who were doing, I mean, dark witchcraft, uh, doctor witchcraft. I feel like Salem was more, it's just a, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I feel like with Salem, the Salem witch trials, it, it goes back into Got, like goth is like a white woman's thing it's not like for everybody else and that's where their connection comes from but again I get the connection and I feel like it just fits the aesthetic more because I love witchy the witch's hat I love um what's that Disney movie hocus pocus like I love that but is that's not the only form of what it is to be a witch got it okay that's that's re no, that's really interesting. Uh, <laughs> that was loaded. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Like, uh, it's good. It's good. So you talk about like Salem being aesthetically pleasing yeah. and how goth is main is considered a white woman's thing. Yeah. As a uh, as a black woman, mm -hmm. how have you felt in goth spaces? As a black woman, I have felt in goth spaces. It's almost I can put it on a scale. 
Some days I feel celebrated and liberated and understood. I feel seen. I feel like a deity. I mean, people look at me and they're like, oh my God, who, like, what is, who is this person? And then other times I do feel very small. I feel maybe taken advantage of. I feel, you know, just different, different. Most of the times I go into, you know, I go to bars, I go to uh, shows and I'm like the only person that looks like me. And I feel like depending on like my mood, I'm either like standing in the, you know, standing in the corner like, hmm, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm not really feeling, you know, like a deity today. And then other days I feel like I'm, I'm getting a lot of praise for like, oh, you're, I always get, you're so brave for looking how you look. And I'm like, what does, like, what does that mean? Like, how do you, do you say that to other, you know, people who decide to be alternative or decide to be goth? So it's just. It's a very interesting balance, I will say. It's so important for God people to have physical locations and not just digital or in the internet because we're humans. We do not live online. We need to see and touch and speak to one another to let us know that like we're real. Like what we feel, what we like is real. It's not just a fantasy. I feel like to, to other people, and yes, it. It is a fantasy, but we're human beings. We feel real things. We want to have life experiences. So that's always my thing. Anytime I go out and I meet another goth person, I always like, you know, I let them know that like, hey, this is real. What you like is valid. I'm, I appreciate you. I love you as a person. Keep fucking killing it. <laughs> Not literally. Maybe. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Tell him, Pookie. You are so spoiled. Okay, mommy has to cook now. Y'all, he missed me. Gone for one day. Look at this. Back from the interview was so good. I'm telling y'all, this is how this is how legacies start. Got a little envelope too. I didn't open it. I decided to wait. So I'm on camera. Oh, come on, money. Money. You know you gotta be assertive when you ask for shit. Get down. I got me some money. You know what's crazy? I was not expecting this. But I should have been. You get what I'm saying? So I'm about to cook. I really don't want to. I should be unpacking. I should be doing. Y'all, look at this shirt. Isn't it so cool? Oh, wait. I showed y'all this. Dinner. This is from Eye Candy. We're in the Sacred Heart necklace. I I feel like, like I don't have any like chill shirts. And that is sad. Okay, so I'm going to cook. Oh, Lord. My bra which i want to take it off but i don't know i might go out later but i don't know <sighs> anyways let's make something to eat why add sodium already leave that up to me no because i really have to watch my sodium intake now that i've been good on carbs now i need to defeat the demon that is sodium they want me to eat about five shrimp and five shrimp has 640 mg uh, things of sodium. This has no nicotine, so don't shut your mouth. Okay, let's, <laughs> that was so violent. I'm just gonna cook and y'all can just, okay. I'm also watching Bailey. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. I'm watching um, true crime because I need murder to distract me. Don't judge me. Oh, my mama calling me. Hi, mommy. I literally was in water for like 24 hours. I went to the pool, to the hot tub, to the hot spring, and then another tub, and then another pool, another tub, another pool. Wow by yourself yes by myself who else maybe somebody else like who your friend didn't come 
Which friend? Your new friend. No, he didn't come because I didn't invite him. Oh, okay. You want to do everything by yourself. Yeah, this was a solo. What? Well, I know only went for one day too, but yeah, this was a solo trip. Oh, okay. That's good. That's glad you went. You're so happy. Thank you. I am happy. You just called me to be nosy. Yes. How's Daddy? Oh, it's fine. It's an ice cream here. Ice cream? How was his surgery? Oh, he said it's your It's good. You need to go see the doctor back. Are you home? Where is the... Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Oh, you are sick. Hi, Daddy. You miss me? That's what I like to hear. Yes, Daddy. I hope you feel better. You're welcome. I don't want to hear about getting old. That's depressing. Don't want to hear who's sleeping and getting old. Everybody's getting old by the day, by the day, by the hour. No, I'm gonna be young forever. That's good. Do you hear me, mommy? Uh huh. You'll be young forever. That's good. Rachel said she was going to call me and never did. She's fake. She went to work today. She said it. Oh, you okay, mommy, I have to cook now. Okay. Bye. Right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. She's so damn. She's so damn nosy. She was trying to see if I want on a little vacation. This box, the main character needs your help finding her missing son. It's a game, don't worry. You get to investigate the mysterious forest yourself. Fuck that lady and her missing son. Oh, I met you. Okay, so to do the shrimp, I'm doing jerk chicken and pepper and citrusy garlic. I don't, that doesn't sound good. Hold on. The regular garlic. I'm a garlic girl. Why did I turn that on? Anyway. Now this was like a really big deal for the town and it brought more people Actually, to the area. And it just took great pride in it all. Because it was like a... Be quiet. I have some things to say. So I was at the interview and um, I want to address it on here now before it comes out and I like post it and y'all are like, um, why did she, why did she answer that question in the way that she did? Um, so I got asked about uh, witches, you know, because that's like a big thing in like golf culture, you know, or whatever. Um, and I already knew that he would ask about like Salem and the Salem witch trials and things like that. And I really felt the need to let it be known that Salem witches... Salem witches were not the original witches. But that's not to discredit anybody who was doing witchcraft at that time. I'm 99% sure that there was some white bitches doing witchcraft. I'm not trying to say that it didn't happen. Witchcraft really is comes from voodoo, which came from Africa. Like everything else i didn't like have an attitude about it but i did explain it more and i felt like you know it kind of like changed the mood a little bit but the director he was super stoked that i um 
I shared my piece on that because, you know, being West African, being learning that I am Benin and Togo and finding out that voodoo originated in Benin and Togo. It's not from Haiti. It's not, well, it's not, not saying that it's not from there, but the birthplace of voodoo was Benin and Togo. So when I think of witches and I think of witchcraft, that's not the first thing that comes to mind. But do I, and I, and I said this in the interview, I, do I get it? Do I under, do I get where the aesthetic and all of that comes from? Yes, of course. I just had to turn down the um, Salem vampire ball and I could have really, you know, went there and got my nerdy history lesson, but that is not the only type of witch. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, you know? Okay, back to our scheduled um, bullshit. Hey guys, so I just did a full like get ready with me on my TikTok. But y'all, look at my glam. This is so cute. I'm wearing the O Romeo top, rattlesnake leggings. Bitch, we're in our fashion era. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm going to Target and then actually, no, we're going to the Grove. Oh, the sliding. We're going to the Grove. What do I need? Y'all, look at where I left my phone. Ah! I'm fine. Y'all, I'm scared. My fucking ass is out because I need a belt. But I don't want to wear a belt because I'm going to get hot because I already have a leather jacket on. Or should I just change my pants? I mean, I already did the video low key. I could change my pants. But no, this is so cute. Ah! Okay, no, let's go. Yeah, okay, I've been in here for like 30 fucking minutes because I was trying to post. So I'm trying to, what am I trying to do? Oh God. If you're getting looks like this, keep killing it, you look great. Play 90 minutes. Uh, a person sorry, that's like a this. Files. My TikTok is not uploading and I feel like it's not, uh, it doesn't want to upload. Why are you calling me? I'm sorry. You and cannot just white women because of the outfit they're wearing. You cannot just be calling people. Huh? Look, y'all about to y'all about to bring the Ghana out in me. Y'all cannot just be calling people and expecting people. See? Y'all done set it up. <laughs> y'all done set it up. What was I saying? What is going on? Oh my god, we need to go. Just posted this picture on Insta. In the bet you are gown, y'all. Mm. Y'all look at my butt. Y'all, we wearing couture now. Oh my god, I done squeezed this ass into a couture gown. As getting bigger. Come on, Beyonce. I know you all up in it. Okay, I gotta go. I try to do like a vibey. Oh my God, everyone's calling me Morticia. Well, not everyone, like two people. Oh, I'm running out of space. Oh, this is so, Okay, let's go. Um, hold on. Okay, you guys, I'm in Target and fucking look. Wait, wait. I might need to. Oh, she's huge. Look at these bitches. Oh my god, look at this big ass bitch. Rainbow house. That's crazy. Oh, look at her over here. She's cute. Oh my god, look. Not the little brat section. Look. They, oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> it's so many of them. Oh. This is so cute, but it's giving like hood mermaid. Like, what? Why do she have a sporty? This is not. What is this? <laughs> what does she have on? This is not a tail. Why is her tail? <gasps> Stop it. She's cute though. It's cute. Look, look at this one. Unicorn mermaid. She's serving honestly. These are cute. These are cute. Oh, look at this one. Okay. 
I do like her though. She's cute. Oh wait, stop. Not Barbie on a mermaid. Not Barbie on a mermaid. Look at the, oh, oh she's eating. She is eating. Hey y'all, okay, so I am back home. I, I'm looking in the window. Oh. oh wow okay sorry i'm watching this thing on netflix it's called i shot my dad or i didn't kill my dad i don't know some crazy white people shit but it is good Let's put this back. okay so real quick i want to show y'all what i got y'all as soon as i went to go buy some weed i went to go buy some weed and i ran out of memory and i was like i just did all of that Ah, but I got a new memory card with a lot of memory. Oh, I stole these from my car. Siren lashes, we love her. I didn't buy these. I stole them from my office. <laughs> so first I went to Charlotte Tilbury. I, ooh, love. That is my favorite place. The people who work there are amazing. She helped me spend my money very irresponsibly. Oh my God, let's see. But I got, I saved $92. I spent $235, which I think is pretty good giving the amount of shit that I got, which is crazy. Like to save $92, I basically got like two products for free. I feel like. Oh my God, y'all, this psychic, I'm gonna tell y'all about this. Cause it's funny. I'm sorry, I, this has got to and be in the I'm background cause I can't focus. Day. Man, I was pissed, dude. I'm like, I I'm sorry if this, hopefully, look, the girls that get it, it's fine. Just act like it's not there. What are y'all doing? So this is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. It's going to give you instant volume, length, and a 24-hour lift effect. And just look at the box. Like that's what I want. That's what I wanted to do. Next, let's open up their setting spray, which is my favorite. Oh my god, y'all! This fucking setting spray. So I got this. So I got the Big Mama, and then I got a travel size one that I can put in my bag. Um, or my car, I realized that I really need to have like a backup stash of makeup in my car because life is crazy right now. Next, I got their eye cream. Oh, I can't. <laughs> so I want to know what score I got. Y'all, this show has done suck me dry. I'm such a fucking sucker for true crime. It's crazy. Um, so I got their eye cream. 100% agree skin looks looks and feels firmer 100% agree dark circles appear significantly brightened okay 100% 100% agree skin looks and feels smoother and it boosts hydration up to 230% in one hour okay so I want to pair this with this with this, I'm ready. I'm ready for the Holy Trinity because I'm telling y'all, these two products together before your glam and you set it with this powder and then you spray. And then speaking of powder, so this one I think will go in my car because it's almost like it's almost done. Right. So I got a new one and I wear this shade. I wear three tan. I wish. Actually, I do like this color, even though I am melting for the, from the day, but um, oh, I just love new stuff. Ooh, so this, it may seem like it's light. It is light, it's light, but it doesn't go on this color. If you've ever used this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What? Oh, bitch. Why would they do that? They know I have high blood pressure. Oh my God, it's so little. So this is the mini one that I can keep in my purse for touch-ups because I always end up just throwing this in my purse. Um, but I like the little mini one. This is so, 
It's so little. And I figure I just bring one of these. So anytime I need to touch up, I can just. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I think we did something, y'all. This is perfect. Especially when I'm wearing sunglasses and I need to like touch up right here on my nose. Oh, yeah. This is the best thing I've ever bought in my entire life. Okay. Then I got the Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Super Youth Glow. I got this in 6.5 deep um, because I want to put this on my blemishes. Even though I am working on my skin, I just ordered a shit ton of muesli. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've been spending so much money. Um, but I want to... Oh, I just... It's self care. It's self care. It's self care. But so I want to try this on because it's like foundation, but not foundation. Um, she's the girl. Oh, I forgot her name. I think it was Jenny. Hey, Jenny girl. Um, Jenny said that she uses hers to highlight, but I want to use mine to color correct, kind of because I feel like with this foundation. A little goes a long way, but I end up caking it on, especially right here. So I'm excited. I would like to just mix them together, honestly. If I can do a little bit of this, like spot right here, and then do like a pump pump of this, I feel like I've got the perfect concoction. So um, this is almost done. If not, it is done because I wore it today. So I'm opening up a fresh, oh, Charlotte Tilbury is so, it's so old meets modern Hollywood. And I love, I lived for this fucking foundation. It's so fucking good. And then I went to Sephora. Oh my God, you guys. So when I got to Sephora, this cute little, I want to say she's like South Asian Ind Indian um, girl. She comes up to me and hands me this and starts reading me down y'all i'm fucking and i had just you know so i'm in support and i go right up to the dior section because y'all know i live for the dior um lip oils and she comes up to me and she's like oh you've got an energy about you you've got an aura about you people people love you she was like i would love to give you a reading oh my god you've got you've got this aura your aura is purple mind you like I'm so weary about like psychics and shit like that because it's like you first of all you telling me shit that I already know but no but then she goes but I see you're in a dark place in your love life bitch god damn why would she say that why would she say that to me so you know what I was like you know what let me have one of these and I'm gonna give you a call because how does she know that but I also felt like it was just all based off of perception. I feel like looking looking at me, you can definitely tell that, um, yeah. A bit, uh, but I also feel like I give off the vibe. Ooh, y'all. This is everything. Oh, and it's so fresh. It's too pretty to use. Ooh, we're in a new era. I cannot wait to do my makeup. I cannot wait to do my makeup now. Oh my God. I always love to like line up all my Dior's <laughs> because I'm psychotic. Oh, we should do a Charlotte Tilbury get ready with me. I think the only thing I don't have of them is concealer, but I think for like skin and base, you guys, I don't know a better brand honestly and this powder I, I haven't used an, a better powder and i've used it all i have you i have used it all that's crazy okay so i'm just gonna clean up real quick i'm gonna de-glam i'm gonna get in bed i'm trying to think what my day is tomorrow anyway i'll talk to y'all tomorrow love you Ooh. good afternoon y'all it is 1 p.m you can't see my eyes. I have a production meeting today. When I look like this, don't talk to me. Um, not y'all, but the outside. The civilians, not gang. Okay, I have a production meeting today. 
with a new manufacturer that's gonna, you know, elevate us. So if this is, let me put this in my bag. The fact that I'm getting used to that is, I don't like that. Cause usually y'all know I'll like stop, but whatever. Y'all, yesterday I did like, I had a squat day and my fucking legs. I don't, how do people work out every day? Is that not like, that's insanity. You're working out every day? Okay. I mean, in low key, I used to be like that though. I don't know. I, I don't want to say I'm getting lazy, but. Oh. <laughs> don't talk to me. I don't want anyone talking to me today except for Muneka. Actually, that's a lie because I'm going out later. <laughs> but I'm going to have a good night though. It's I'm enjoying my last month in Hollywood because I'm fucking moving downtown. And I know it's going to be a vibe. It's going to be what I make it. But I really want to enjoy. Like, I've been here for over a year. And there's so many fucking places that I haven't been to. Which I'll probably go to once I fucking move. Oh. Is this my meeting? Hello? Hi. Hi. I'm doing well, thank you. First of all, let me say thank you for your patience. I've been trying, I'm like, oh my God, I hope she doesn't like, just forgets all about me. Like, I swear I'm I'm trying to make the time for this cause I'm, I'm just so grateful that you reached out to me and I've been looking at all the things that you guys do and I'm just, I'm so grateful to be talking with you today. Oh, awesome, no, I'm so excited because I've honestly followed you for so long, like probably since I was like in high school. Uh, I feel like I'm talking to celebrity. Oh my god! <laughs> you just made my day. 